What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Thanks to Eugene Toy and Hobby Online, we now have information on the prices for many of the LEGO Super Hero sets through the end of the year. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do a recap of everything we know so far. So strap in and let's start talking about the year ahead for 2022 LEGO Super Hero. Now, the first thing is, this is the 10th anniversary for both LEGO Marvel and LEGO DC, and so far, it doesn't look like we're getting anything to celebrate those anniversaries. Especially with the Avengers in 2012, it's honestly kind of unbelievable to me that they're skipping over this, but the facts are the facts, so hopefully we get surprised. The next thing we have to look forward to in the immediate future, of course, is the LEGO Marvel Mechs, which should come out March 1st. Now, the reason I'm putting these first, of course, is because they were supposed to come out January 1st, but kind of got pushed back due to a quote-unquote stability issue. So it's really exciting these are finally coming out, and I can't wait to get my hands on these. March 1st will also bring us the life-sized LEGO Mjolnir release. This will be $100 and will come with an exclusive Thor minifig, so that'll be really fun. March 1st will also bring us a new DC set, that is the Jim Lee art set. It'll be $120, and you can build one of the top three pictures, or if you buy multiples of the set, you could add those together and build the giant Batman or the giant Batman and Catwoman mural. Super cool, but definitely expensive if you want them all. Now this brings us probably to April or so. It's possible these come out in March, but I kind of have my doubts considering how close it is to this video coming out and how little we know. Now we do know that the $50 set here is called the Goat Boat, which who knows what that's going to be, but it's got a really interesting name. I'm really excited for these Thor sets. Ragnarok was great, and I can't wait to see what they do with Love and Thunder. April will bring us a set simply called Ant-Man, as far as we know. It'll probably have a better name than that, but it'll be $20, and we do know that it'll be like the mechs in the bottom left corner. It'll be an Ant-Man and a Wasp mech, but I'm secretly hoping that rumor is completely wrong and we get a giant man build like you see here, but unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be the case. But a guy can dream, right? Now, there's a rumored D to C set, which means it's a LEGO store and LEGO online exclusive for superheroes that'll be $500. We know nothing about it, but I'm placing my money that it's going to be a No Way Home final battle set. A lot of people are naysaying and saying, you know, this isn't going to happen, but I'm holding faith, and I really think LEGO is not stupid enough to just completely skip over a No Way Home set like this. Now, these two sets we know will be $90 and $55 respectively, but they are from an unknown theme, so it could be Marvel, could be DC, just hard to say. Moving on, there's a $250 set, probably a UCS Hulkbuster, which I'm not very excited about, but it could be this one as well, this $210 set. Just a lot of murky waters here, what's what, so who knows. Hopefully it's something awesome, but we just don't have the details right now. Now we do have some more prices. This 4 Plus set will be $10, no surprise there, and there's a $44.99 set with 456 pieces. Your guess is as good as mine, but I'll keep you updated as we learn more. Now there's a whole bunch of Wakanda Forever sets, four to be exact, and I gotta tell you guys, I'm nervous about this movie with all the reshoots and delays, and of course, the sad, untimely passing of Chadwick Boseman. I just don't know what this movie's gonna be about. I don't know where it'll go. I hope it's really good, but it does make me a little concerned for the Lego sets, too. I, I just, I don't know. I really hope this movie is good. I just think it has a lot of cards stacked against it. I want to be surprised, though. So hopefully the Lego sets are good, too. Now, there's a second D to C set. You'll remember that means it's a Lego store and Lego online exclusive. That'll be $250. We don't know anything about it yet. My guess is this will be a compliment to the Daily Bugle from last year. Maybe a Sanctum Sanctorum, maybe an Avengers Tower. Hard to say, but just kind of speculating at this point. Now, this is where things go off the rails, no pun intended with the photo I chose to put here, but we have three sets that will be $24.99, that's 76225, eh, you can read the numbers, let me get into the speculation. There were some rumors several weeks ago about getting some Tobey Maguire throwback sets, like the old Spider-Man sets, but this could honestly be anything, we just don't know. I think that a very fair guess is that these could be Avengers 10th anniversary sets. Uh, they could be DC 10th anniversary sets. This is coming out so far in the future, of course, September 2022, that it's just all speculation at this point. So drop a comment and let me know what you'd like to see these sets be. But honestly, it could be anything. 
So the final thing we have to talk about is the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special advent calendar. Now, this is like a confirmed rumor. It's very, very likely to happen, but until we see images, I guess nothing is confirmed, right? With that being said, though, I think that this is a very fun take on an advent calendar, and I'll tell you now, I think the value of it is going to skyrocket years from now. So if you get the opportunity to get a couple of these and maybe sit on them and, uh, you know, just use them in investments to buy yourself more Lego in a couple years, I think that this is a solid, solid investment. But anyways, let's round out so I can give you my final thoughts on all these rumors and stuff. All right, guys, well, that brings us to the end of this rumor and price roundup. Let me know what you guys think of these rumors and all these details. Obviously, it sounds like it's going to be an awesome year. I didn't even touch on the fact that there could be a LEGO Marvel Studios uh, collectible minifigure series, too. That is pretty heavily rumored, though. We don't know if that's actually going to happen, but anything could happen. We could get another big Daily Bugle-style set. We could get a No Way Home set. We could get DC 10th Anniversary. You guys know that I'm a pretty uh, chipper and optimistic guy, so I'm holding out for the best, and, you know, it looks like it's going to be a pretty promising and expensive year. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think of all this news. Obviously, really exciting stuff. And uh, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. I do all kinds of sets reviews and custom videos and all that, so I'd love to have you stick around and join the mini superheroes today community. Till next time, this is Jonathan signing off. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.